Hello, this message is for African Americans. Please do your research on history. African Americans are the most notorious of not doing research on history. So let's start with politics. When I came into the world, they automatically told me I was Democrat because I was black. Because I went into a system of mind control through the government, I accepted it. Never once did I go back and study my history. The problem now is you have so much technology. There's so many YouTubes and it has all the history in there, but black, but African Americans refuse to look at their history. They will join groups, newly created groups, but they don't even study the history of the group before joining. African Americans don't even know that we were Republicans <laughs> out of slavery. They don't know that Democrats even brought slavery here. Am I Democrat or Republican? No, I got out of the political system. Your most knowledgeable uh, prophets were not, were not into politics. They weren't around simply talking about God because everything is about God. And let's go to what religion am I? I am not a religion. I come from God, the creator, the universal God, as a spirit into this world to learn who I am. And then when I learn who I am, I awaken the world. It's that simple. So if you're with, let's say, Nation of Islam, yes, I'm going to put them there. They were created 1930, only 90 years. There was already Islam here. Someone came along and recreated a religion already here. Also, you can follow them, not a problem. Go back, listen to Malcolm X, what he said about the nation of Islam. A lot of people join and it's fine. But if you research the history, as I did thoroughly, because that's what you must do when you're, when you're with religious groups, doesn't matter what I say. It's what's already recorded. Go back around the 1960s and see why Malcolm X left the nation of Islam. The truth is the truth. I'm not making up what's already on videotape. Tons of it. Go look, put in Malcolm X. Why did he leave the nation of Islam? Nation of Islam is the only religion that doesn't respect the universal God. Because it's one God. I am a spirit sent from God and sent into earth in a human form. Then people question me over my universal God. You, now, let's take the books. Stop saying Christian book, holy book. It's books. A book is a book. So when you come in as a spirit, you need those books to learn what's going on on earth. When troubles hit, then you open the book. Most people dive into the books, and that's the problem. That's why you have sickness, and that's why you are don't that's why you don't have so many questions. Books are guides. All man wrote all books per God. How do you know which one is right or wrong? You know that through your meditation and through God. So take yourself away from the books. You are a spirit. The books were already here. So any book you go to, Islam, uh, Christian, uh, Holy Bop, whatever, a man wrote all of them. How do you know what's right or wrong? However, what do they all agree on? There's one God. That's what everything is about. You make, you go into too much technical things. So please, African Americans, study your history. 
if you want to follow the nation of Islam after you did their history search, that's up to you. You have, you can do whatever you like. I recommend this too. I am not under a cult like one leader. That's a cult. Jesus, well, God is free will. God is free will. The universal God gives us free will. So if you have a leader that tells you what you're doing, that's not of the universal God. Universal God doesn't force us. So no leader, I don't care who he is, can make you do anything. That's not how God operates. God is a, by choice. You go to the universal God. So also you should be able to uh, check out other people in their teachings as I did. So I go, I study, I go a little bit uh, Islam. I do use some of the Holy Bible, but also because I meditate, I get true answers from who? The universal God. African-American folks, man, we are the most, we are the easiest sheep. We don't go study history. That's the problem. They, 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 they stuck in today, but they don't go study the history. Go study your history of all the religions. Then make your choice. Don't make it because some guy is, is selling you something. Go and look at your history. If you saw the history of some of the religions, then you would see where I'm coming from because I studied them. So Islam was already here and you and nation is Islam created. That's fine if you want to believe in that. But go back and study in 19, around the 60s, when uh, Malcolm X said why he left. He's, he's, uh, he's acknowledged throughout the world. So I'm not knocking that, but go study your history. People are debating me on one God. When I say I, I worship the universal God, it's one God. Take all the religions, a man wrote them. So I'll explain it again. You take God and he put three, and he put three men in the same room and said, write me a book. Each one of those books are going to be different. They are just guides. They're just books. Stop treating books like idols. They're just books. The uh, universal God is the, is the God. They're just books. Erase the names off the books and put books. It's like if I was to read a book now. It's just a book that, that you use for a guide to, to get through the earth. I don't know why that's so difficult. Like I tell you, knowledge itself is very simple. Man complicated it for his own benefit. That's it. I grew up uh, only Christian and Baptist. When I got out of the, I, that, when I got out of those religions, that's when I found out who the true God really was. Because those were also treated as cults. People only did partial of it. So that's what I did. I got out of the Christian and Baptist religion. I am no longer Christian or Baptist. I am just a seeker of the universal God in truth. That simplifies it. That way I go straight to the source. Who sent those books, who allowed those books to be written. Each book was written for its own. God's way is not our way. I don't know how to make it more simple, but this is for African-American. They don't study history. If they studied history, they would see where I'm coming from as I studied it very thoroughly. Sometimes it hurts me to find the history. And I, have to, I have to sometimes get away from certain religions after I find out the history. History is history. You can't hide history. 
You can try to twist it, but the history is already written. Malcolm X said he has many videos as I researched them explaining about the nation of Islam. If you want to go there, but don't, uh, if you still don't support the universal God, the one God of the whole world, then no, we don't have the same. So if you're not of the universal God, the one that's, that runs the whole world, I wish you luck with uh, whoever you're into. But that's my beliefs. And also, you reap what you sow. Or actually, don't argue with people. If I say I know God, that should be enough. Because to try to change someone's mind, that sounds like a cult setting or a manipulation. I have a free will to choose my religion. If I respect others' religions, you should respect mine. You don't know what's truth because man wrote all books. How do you know 100%? You don't. But you do know they all agree on what? There's God. So what I did, I left the books and went right to the source of God. That's wisdom. The books are just guides. People treat the books like, like God. Because if there's only God first, so in other words, I pray to the universal God, then I meditate to the through my conscience and talk, and the universal God gives me information through my consciousness. Then if I have a, then when I get my, then I can know which book to go to or where to find the information. Books are second. God is first. So I do God first. Books second. Books are just books. You take any book. It's just a book. You learn from it. But people treating books like gods, like idols. I, I'm not down with that. I treat a book like a book. That's the way you're supposed to read a book. You could put holy book or doesn't matter. It's still a book. A man wrote every book. You can give me even back in a, uh, African, whatever. Still a man put it there. How do you know? You weren't there. You weren't here when any of these, their book. But they all say what? It's a God. That's where the source is. That's why I go straight through God. That's why I get true knowledge. Uh, just I respect everyone, but respect also what I just said. I have a universal God. When someone says they believe in God, I don't even get into debates because that sounds like you're trying to uh, uh, recruit. I don't recruit. God doesn't recruit. God is free will. You have the choice to choose. So always respect people in their religious belief. If they say God, that should be enough. Why would I want to? God himself, like he showed me, will show that individual. Seek ye, seek and ye shall find. Same way that people found their religions. Let the, they will find theirs. Once they say they God and they don't ask me anything, I don't get in, I don't even try to change their mind. When they're ready, they will seek the information, then find it. But I respect and love you all. But African Americans, I, I, I'm serious. Research your histories whether it's schools, religions, everything. When you were born, you was taught everything per a man. You have to detach everything and relearn. That's true knowledge, as I did. Because you are in a, you come in a government system of mind control. So first, get out of the whole system, everything, and relearn. As I did, I reread all the books, and started having an open ear to hear uh, great teachers who teach about history. That's why I know so much. Most people are what we call narrow-minded. They get labeled with something like blacks with Democrat and they accept it. They don't even go study the history of the Democrats to know why you're Democrat. They just choose it. Every year you just choose a president because he's Democrat. Does that, is that wise? But if you study the history, 
And then you followed it up to today, you would be like, whoa, like I did, you would see a different picture. I'm not Republican or Democrat because I got out of the political system. I can see it a lot better. When you study your political system, African American, you'll see that you were Republican first. Brother Martin Luther King, what was he? Republican. A lot of people don't even study their history. So this message is for African Americans. Please study your history. You can't do something in the future. How are you going to make a choice in the future and you don't know about the past? That's like me joining a uh, white supremacist group. And you can do it, but not study the history of them. Or me uh, choosing some radical black group. Can I make that choice? Yes. But do your history. That's all I ask. Most people debate, but don't study the history. I don't care what a speaker says now. The history is the history. If it was that much of truth, it would have been debunked. It hasn't been debunked, what Malcolm said. So what Malcolm said, I agree with. So I follow it. And you should do your... I don't have to tell you because if you did your history, you would know what he said. So go back, study the history. That's what I did. That's true knowledge is studying your history. The books already written. Actually, he's on video himself from his mouth. It's not even a book. A lot of times people run the books when it's only God. I don't need a book to... to uh, explain that there's a universal God. They all say there's a, there's a God. That's the key. So why am I in these books first? So what I did, I went to the, the source first and he took me to another level because of great. I got out of the system. Most people in a system, the books are here to put you in a system only. I got out of the system. So now when I have trouble, I can go to one of the books and look for the answer. Is God allowed many men to write many books about him. So the, all the books is about who? The universal God. Now, if your, your book isn't about the universal God, no, we don't have the same God. I hope that answers it. But my God, your universal one, is known worldwide. I don't have to debate with brothers and sisters when I say universal God. Because I know him. As he is me, as I, as I am him, he gave me reign over the earth. As all the other conscious folks know that, and all the other religions recognize that, you are God. He gave you uh, reign over the earth as it is already written. If, you're, if religious is not teaching that, I wish you well. But I'm free because I know I'm God. He gave me reign. He's within me. You say your name as I am first. That's God. That's it. Nothing can come through the earth. Nothing can come to this earth without who? God. So if, if God say I can do all things, isn't that God? Yes. He, he allows me to do all things through him. So that's you're a God. If that makes sense, God made man in his image. What does that mean? That means you're God. Did I say the supreme universal? No, but you're still God. If you can do anything, plain and simple. True knowledge is simple. Now, if I want to complicate you, I would, I would say, no, 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 follow me. In it. But I'm not. I went to the source before the books. I eliminated the books first and went to God and asked. Then he told me the answer. He was like, because I came the right way. Most people dive in books looking for God. That's a book. When he's within you. That's when I learned about uh, Neville God. I mentioned again. People don't want to even look at what I say. Go study what he said. He's a, he's a, he's a scholar with religions. Joseph Murphy, very well, worldly recognized for his scholars in uh, 
translating what religion is. And there's many of us. Man, you're missing so many uh, great messages if you're only stuck with one religion. The whole thing is it's God. When you come in the world, you come with nothing and you leave with nothing. Everything is about nothing, only God. That's why you're here to discover God and then to awaken your brothers and sisters to learn that they are God, your only spirit. I hope that helps African-American folks today to please study your history. I'll say it again. Study your history. You guys have a great day. I love you all. Thanks for listening to what I had to say. Take care.